My name is Terry Molnar. I'm one of the founders of the Calvert Social Investment Mutual Fund and our foundation. I'm also on the board of Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream. And I've been the founder of Trusteeship Institute, which does research and development uh, in uh, social responsible business and finance for 30 years. I think the thing that I'd most like to point out is there's a person named Paul Herman who has done some research that could be a real game changer in the world of social responsible investment and business. Paul's got an idea he calls hip investment. You can check it out on the website, hipinvestor.com. And he's done this research. He's taken the S&P 100 companies and he's done, come up with 30 quantifiable measurements of social, environmental, and governance performance of a company. He's then gone through and evaluated all 100 companies and come up with a score for each of those 100 companies. Then he's taken the total assets in the S&P 500, and which they're usually allocated based on, company, uh, based on company size. And he's reallocated the total assets based on the highest performer getting the most assets down to the worst performer getting the least assets. He's then done research on one, three, and five years and discovered in all three periods, his S&P 500 outperforms the normal S&P 500 in every sector by four percentage points or more. Now, this is the first hard evidence that I've seen that you can make better financial return by investing socially responsibly. I'm one of the pioneers of social responsible investment with Wayne Silby and a whole bunch of us back in 1982. And between 1982 and now, most people have thought that you have to give up some financial performance to invest socially responsibly. Even though we felt we've proven that's not the truth, that's the way people tend to think. This new game-changing piece of data, if it proves out to be substantive as people do more research on this and double-check it, could be a significant game-changer. Now, why? would socially responsible, environmentally responsible governance company end up performing financially better? Mm. It's because the consciousness of the public has been raised. People no longer are comfortable with companies that have horrible environmental performance records and companies are scurrying to make sure that they don't end up with a bad reputation in the environment performance area. It's the same thing with the relationship with the employees and the relationship with the community and the way they're governed. All these have become new issues that people care about. Not only the people who are investing, the people inside the companies care about mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So the people inside the companies, when their company is paying attention to these things, feel more at home, feel yeah. more like their heart and soul can come to work in the morning. You get more productivity, you get more profitability. This is simply the result of the maturation of the species. As these kinds of things become part of the way people think, people embrace them and I think that's the reason that you're going to see more and more evidence that socially, environmentally and governance conscious companies outperform their competitors. Thank you.